If you're having any kind of issues with your Ninja Trader 8 lagging, this could be a very important video for you. I'm going to show you how to run a diagnostic test so you can find out which potential indicator is slowing down your system. So if you've got a lot of third-party indicators and your system maybe runs a little slow, especially in times of high volatility, this can help you find out exactly what the problem is. So in the Ninja Trader control panel, you want to go to a new Ninja script output. And then once you have this window open, right click anywhere in this big open space here and you'll see the ninja script utilization monitor click on that so now you just want to let this run for anywhere from two to five minutes it's going to populate with all the different indicators chart objects bar types chart styles and it's going to tell you the delay in processing in milliseconds i originally found out how to do this because my ninja trader was running very slow especially when the markets were very volatile, which is the best time to trade when everything's volatile. And I wanted to be able to trade and not have my system lag. And I actually found out that it was a couple of third party indicators that I had, and I was able to swap them out with indicators from a different company. And this is one of the main reasons why I am still using Ninza indicators. You'll see here in a little bit, you can see all of my different Ninza indicators. Most of them you know, have barely any delay. I'm just gonna hit pause now. I'm doing this on playback data, but you could also do it on live market data, but playback data works fine too. So I started this at around 9.35, not even the peak of the open at 9.30. I waited five minutes. Even starting it late, we still have a couple of issues here. So I loaded this indicator on the chart just to show you. This is the indicator that was giving me trouble that was slowing my charts. It's a smart VWAP from Ninjacators. Ninjacators is a company that I started out using when I first started trading on NinjaTrader. They've got a few good indicators that I still use, but I found quite a few of their indicators were very slow. They slowed down my computer and I just couldn't use them. So I had to get rid of this Ninjacators smart VWAP. And you can see 52,000 compared to, you know, 200 to under 100 for most of these. And I replaced it with the Ninza Intraday VWAP Pro. So you can see how much more efficient this Ninza VWAP indicator is compared to the Ninjacators VWAP. Like 52,000 compared to 890. Way faster. And this doesn't bog down my charts at all. There are a few Ninza indicators that take a little bit more processing. Uh, the market profile, order flow presentation, and also the Ninza Volume Delta takes up a bunch, but all of the Ninza indicators work fine in any market condition that I have encountered over the past seven years or so. Even in times of high volatility, they're always working. The only time I have some issues is uh, with the data that I get from Apex and Rhythmic. Sometimes in the afternoon, if I have a bunch of tick replay loaded, particularly on the ES, It'll have some issues, so I just turn off a tick replay, and then everything's fine. But yeah, this is one of the main reasons that I've stuck with Ninza for so many years. Their indicators are coded so well, they are super speedy, super fast, don't cause any lag on my system. That and all the different ways that you can customize each indicator. I know their website now looks like a crazy disco party rave, and it wasn't always that way. Just a couple years ago, their website looked pretty normal didn't have all the crazy cartoon characters and the flashing lights and the pop-ups and the prices were way different. I'm sure that's a turnoff for a lot of people, but I don't know, maybe they're onto something with marketing, maybe it works for them. Either way, I've been using them for about seven years now and I love all their basic indicators. Some of the new crazy stuff seems a little overkill to me, but I've got a list of all my favorites in most of the descriptions of my videos and I've only done videos on my favorite indicators from them. But if you're having any kind of lag or issues with your Ninja Trader not running as efficiently as you'd like, this is something you can do to test things out. 
this gravity line indicator is another heavy hitter that was also from Ninja Cators. I had to take that one off my chart too because of load times. It would take a few extra minutes to load my chart sometimes. Just not worth it. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I've got links to all the indicators that I'm using in the description and also links to Apex Trader Funding. They are still having an 80% off sale with one day to pass for the rest of the month of April. Any of the affiliate codes in the description that you use helps support the work that I do on this channel and is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.